Hey everybody, today I'm going to go over the new feature that ChatGPT has released called 4.0 with Canvas. This feature essentially adds a word processor type view like Google Docs or Microsoft Word to be able to surgically change and adjust the content that you're using ChatGPT to create. So I'm going to show you exactly how this works. So let's get into it. Okay, so you're going to need a paid ChatGPT account, but when you're inside of ChatGPT at the very top, you're going to see that there's this ChatGPT 4.0 model and now there's a new GPT 4.0 with Canvas. So you're going to go ahead and click that. And what you do at this point is you're going to prompt it to be able to start writing some content. So for example, let's say, you know, I just finished fertilizing my lawn for the fall and I just want to know what the ideal watering times are for cool season grasses for the upcoming season. So I'm going to go ahead and just say, write an article about the ideal watering times for cool season grasses. And we're going to watch GPT make a version of an article here and it's going to open it in this new view which is called the canvas view. So you'll notice in the canvas view we have a prompt section on the left hand side and then there's these new icons on the right. There's a, the ability to add emojis, add final polish, change the reading level, adjust the length of the content and then we can actually suggest edits by word, sentence, paragraph. This is really cool. This is the power of Canvas being mixed with ChatGPT. So you can see that it has created me an article here. Now, if you're going to be putting this on a website, which you most likely will, um, you would want to make sure that your HTML structure is correct. But before we get into that, I just want to say this is really powerful because what you do not want to do is just take this piece of content the way it is and paste it into your website because too many people have done that. Google has changed their algorithm to actually penalize that. And when I say penalize, they, they always say there are no penalties, but the data shows that websites that copy paste AI content have been either de-indexed or have, they have fallen in the rankings. So it's really important to make sure that you are still editing this content, you're changing it. But now instead of you having to manually type it in or change it in Google Docs or Microsoft Word, you can make the changes right here in ChatGPT and you can use ChatGPT AI to make those changes. It's even faster. So I'm gonna actually walk you through the process that I would use to change a piece of content to make sure that it's providing value and so that's optimized for SEO. So the first thing I like to do is just kind of clean this up and make sure that the heading structure is correct for HTML. So there's two ways you could do this. I could prompt it and just say, hey, make all my headings in H2, or I could literally just highlight the entire heading here, and it's gonna come up with a new prompt. And I can just say, turn this into an H1. And so what it's gonna do is it's gonna go ahead and change that heading to an H1. Now, I don't really feel like going through all these other headings you know, individually and making them H2. So I could say, make all the headings except for the first one an H2. And so what it's gonna do is it's gonna go through and it's going to change my headings in my article and change them to H2s. Now, I'm not a huge fan of a conclusion heading. I feel like that's wasted um, text. I, I don't really like that. So I wanna go ahead and come up with a more creative heading. So come up with a more creative heading for this one. And it's gonna think for a minute and it's gonna give me some ideas, like final thoughts for a flourishing lawn. A little bit better. I could still edit that, make it a little bit better in my opinion, but we'll come back to that in just a minute. So now what I would wanna do is just quickly go through this article and see if there's anything that I don't like. Now, for example, let's say I am writing this for a website uh, that I own that has to do with grass. So I would wanna make sure that maybe a particular grass type is in this article. So. I can see that they have added fescues, but maybe I particularly want to talk about tall fescues. So I could, in my chat here, just say, change the article to include tall fescue. And it's gonna go through the article and it's going to surgically kind of put that in there and show you where it's done that, which is actually pretty cool. So as we go through this article, the flow is kind of, you know, water early in the morning, avoid watering in the evening, aim for deep and infrequent watering. So this section here, I could say, like I want this to be more of like a pros and cons. So let's change this to be more of a pros and cons section and have three bullets for cons and three bullets for pros. And so ChatGPT is gonna take a look at that and it's gonna make some changes based on what I asked to do. It's kinda of cool to see this uh, wiping effect that they do to make the changes in the content. Now, what I don't like is that they remove some of that uh, paragraph text heading in here. So what I could do is enter down and I could say, I could say add 
um, a paragraph um, introducing this section. So now I have just a little bit more context that's been added and I'd want to look at that and just make sure that makes sense. But I hope that you can see the power here of being able to edit this right here inside of ChatGPT, like a word processing editor, to be able to just really make the changes I want to make instead of having to copy and paste this into a different program and change it. Now, one thing I've noticed here is it kept my avoid watering in the evening section, but I'd really kind of like to incorporate this into this. So I could kind of highlight this whole thing and I could say, um, combine this into one section, keeping the pros and cons list. So now we're gonna kinda of go through this here. And it has kind of incorporated my watering in the evening um, in here, right? So we wanna make sure, yeah, it might seem like convenient water in the evening. Doing so can lead to problems for long cooler night temperatures combined with damp grass. So it is going into that. Now let's say I want it to focus more on how it you know, if you water at night, it can make the grass susceptible to disease because it's, you know, wet, it can rot, um, and all those sorts of things. So I can say right here, change this section to also talk about how watering in the evening um, can increase lawn disease. Now, again, this is me putting my two cents into this article, which is what Google, everybody who reads things on the internet wants you to do. They want you to give your expertise, your two cents, change it so that it's not just something the robot made, right? Like give some value to these people. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter. And ChatGPT is gonna go through that and make some changes and I'd wanna, I'd wanna look at that and make sure I'm happy with it. Okay, so now we let's say we have our article kind of the way we want it. You know, I've given my value, I've made some changes. Um, one thing I like to do for SEO, we all know this, you do have keywords. You wanna make sure that you put keywords in the content. Well, you can use ChatGPT with Canvas to put the keyword in the content naturally. So let's just say uh, ryegrass was my keyword, which would be an absolutely horrible keyword, by the way. That's not a long tail keyword, it's way too broad. But just for example purposes, we're gonna go ahead and just say that. So I'm gonna say down here on the bottom left, make sure to include the keyword, keyword uh, ryegrass in the content three to five times naturally. So now it's gonna go through the content and make sure that my keyword is in the content at least three to five times. And it tells me right here that it made four edits and I can see where that happened, right? And if you actually click on the made four edits, it's gonna actually show you where in the content it made those changes. So that is very um, Word and Google Doc-esque where you can look at like the editing functionality that they have as well as uh, the comments section that they used to have on those word processors. So this is very powerful. It can kind of show you exactly what sort of changes it's making, right? So now that we've done that, uh, one of the really cool things about this is I could actually add emojis to this if I wanted to. So if I was making something that was gonna go on like Facebook or Instagram or X, we could add some emojis. So I could go ahead and click add emojis here. And to do anything on this sidebar, you just have to click the up arrow once uh, you pick the option. So if I click this, it's gonna now go through the content and it's gonna put emojis all through the content. Now. You can see it's totally overkilling this. <laughs> I would I would never post it like this. Um, but what's really cool is I can say um, reduce the number of emojis by 80%. And so now it's gonna go through my content again and it's going to remove a lot of those emojis and, and, and take it down quite a bit. Now that's still just maybe too much. I don't want emojis. That's fine, I could just say remove all emojis and that way it can remove all the emojis again, and we're kind of back to where we were. So you can see it reduced the number of emojis quite a bit. I could remove these last two as well, but I, again, this is just for example purposes. So one of the things I really like about this canvas um, is that you can actually adjust the length of this content. So if I wanted it shorter or longer, if you click this, they kind of have it on a slider. You can kind of change how you want it to be. Um, that's really, really cool. Also, they have this final polish. So if you add final polish, it kind of goes through it, does its like editing check, so to speak, and tries to just really make it flow and work really well. Now, before we do that though, I do want to adjust the reading level. 
this is really important. I think um, for SEO as well as just a lot of the tools like Yoast and things like that, they try to keep that reading level um, to where most people are going to understand. And ChatGPT does have a tendency to make it a very high reading level, which can sometimes alienate certain people when they're reading content. So if I go to this reading level, I'm going to take it down to a middle school reading level and I'm going to click that arrow and it's going to go through my content and it's going to just adjust the reading level to make sure that it's easier to understand. You can see when I did that, it removed my emojis. So that's also another way to get rid of emojis. Okay, so we have the content the way that we like it. We have the content um, you know, reading level the way that we want it. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how you could adjust the length slightly. So let's say I just wanna make it a little bit shorter. I would click the arrow there. And it's gonna go through the content. It's gonna just shorten it up, tighten it up make it just slightly shorter um, to be able to work well. Now you can see when it did that, it changed some of my headings, right? Like what they actually mean and, and how they work. So I could actually, um, if I don't like the length of this, I actually can go the other way, right? I can make it a little bit longer and hit the arrow. Now it's important to understand that you wouldn't want to do your SEO keyword optimization and all that kind of stuff until the very end. I, I did a little bit early in my example, but you can see it's most likely removed my keyword from being anywhere in this content as it has changed it. So I'd want to go through it again, change it, um, you know, surgically, I could do it again, like I said, by sentence um, or by paragraph. Uh, you can do it that way. So I hope that you can see the power of being able to edit AI content using AI, right? That can really speed you up, but it still makes the content useful and valuable because I'm putting my two cents into it. I'm not just copying and pasting it the way that ChatGPT gave it to me, you know, in the beginning or originally, I'm, I'm going through and making my changes. So I hope that this video has been helpful to you. I hope that you'll play around with Foro with Canvas um, and really kind of see the power that it has of being able to use AI to edit surgically your content for your website or for SEO. If you like this video, make sure you hit like and subscribe so that when we put out more videos like this, you'll be notified. Now on top of using ChatGPT this way, there is a really unique way of using ChatGPT to feed it information to make sure that you're not getting as much hallucination and that you're getting much more accurate data. So make sure that you watch this video here on how to prompt by feeding ChatGPT data. Again, thanks so much for joining me today and we'll see you on the next video.